It's time for summer vacation. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Soap Mona. I'm Rebecca and I'm so glad you're here. Today I thought I'd do a quick little video on how I go about packing for a trip. I plan out um, what my color theme is going to be. Now for this trip, we are going to multiple cities, but it's kind of like a Barbie girls trip, um, fun. We are going to Palm Springs and we are staying at the Trixie Motel. So while I'm there, I'm gonna go for a really 60s vintage mod look. This is not my typical way of packing my wardrobe, but I thought it was an interesting way to show when you're really planning for each day's looks. So my color theme, I went with pink for my main color, and then I'm doing white and black, and then I did in the end add some pops of blue just because of what I was sewing and making. And when I'm traveling, I like everything to mix and match, and so while I am planning out specific looks for most of these days, everything here is going to work together. Now our trip is not very long and I have a lot of travel days. So I'm going to have many more travel outfits than I usually need in a trip when I'm planning. And we're not gonna be in any city very long. So um, I'm probably not going to do any laundry while I'm there, which means I do need more clothes than I would normally bring on a trip. If we're going uh, international, we're flying for one or two days and then I'm going to be able to do laundry while I'm there. So first things first, check your weather. I like to look at least a week ahead, but I'll look in advance like what the temperatures are gonna be of where I'm going. I also, when I'm tracking, I look at humidity too because that does affect me. I'm used to high humidity here in Florida. New York City is going to be overcast to sunny, 68 to 85 degrees. Um, then we are going to Palm Springs and that's gonna be approximately 77 to 106 degrees. Much hotter, but the humidity will be way less. Right now it's at 29%. That's really low for what I'm used to, a high 60s. And then uh, after that, we are going to Los Angeles, which is supposed to be sunny the whole time we're there. Um, temperature is 66 to about 92. Now this is all in Fahrenheit. I don't know how to translate it to Celsius. So if you wanna look that up, sorry about that. So my general list of things I usually bring are about five to seven tops, um, two to three cardigans or jackets, two to three pairs of bottoms, that can be skirts or pants, um, one to three dresses. I especially like dresses for evenings, dressing them up and I can wear them multiple times. I pick lingerie to go with all of my looks, usually in nude colors so that I can wear them with everything. Activity pieces, this trip we're going to be doing a lot of swimming, we're going to pool, so I'm bringing two swimsuits one to two sleepwear sets. I'm bringing one on this trip, especially um, it's summer, it's hot. I'm gonna be showering before I put on my PJs each night. So those are gonna last the whole week, no problem. Two to three pairs of shoes. I try to go really light on the shoes. Um, I feel like they take up the most room. So one thing I'll do is, um, I usually like to wear my heaviest shoe on the plane. So I'll most likely wear my trainers, my Hoka Clifton's on the trip. And then I will pack my other shoes. So for this trip, I'm bringing um, this pair. These are from Keen. I love these shoes. They're super comfortable and have arch support, which I really need because I broke my ankle last year. And um, they have all the colors. I specifically picked these when I was picking out my fabric because I knew the color would work. So I've got the pink, the white, and that brown that are all going to be in my wardrobe. And I like these too because they can be dressed up or down, but they're super comfy. Um, I was thinking about bringing my black Birkenstock uh, platform sandals, but I find they are a wedge heel and I was like, I don't wanna be uncomfortable at all. So I'm skipping those. I might bring one other pair of slip-on shoes because we have a lot of travel days. Um, I'm not sure if I'll bring these yet, but I may. These are Taos gray washed um, dandies. So I like to have the sneakers for days when I know I'm gonna walk a lot, I'm going to be in a city, and then the sandals for evening, or if we're going to just be doing light touring. I will also be bringing a pair of slippers. Uh, these ones packed to like nothing, so really easy, and I can wear those in our hotels. Okay, so one of my new ways of packing for this trip specifically, because I'm planning out each look for each day, 
is I'm doing the uh, post-it note method. So what I've done is I've taken each date of my trip and I've written the date down. Here's an example. So I have the date written down, what we're doing that day and what kind of look I have. So what I like to do is when I'm planning these out, I will just hang these on the wall. This is exactly how I do it when I'm planning. I will put all of mine up on the wall and I do a separate post-it if I wanna have a separate evening look. So the next thing I like to do is I will pick out the looks that I know specifically where I wanna wear them. So like this dress, this is meant for Palm Springs. That's why I designed it. So I will take that and I'll put the post-it directly on my hanger and then separate that out. That's one day down. Now I'm also bringing my mom's uh, vintage romper that she made. This is a simplicity pattern. Um, I'm going to bring her make and I know I'm gonna wear that on the same day for the photo shoot. Um, I already know my swimwear will be for that Palm Springs look, so that can go, just go separately. Next, I know what I wanna wear when I'm in LA. I wanna wear my nice pink trousers that I made. If you wanna see more details on the patterns and fabrics I used, this, this will all be in my July makes video, and you can also go back and watch my planning video when I was planning out these makes. So, I was planning on wearing this with the white tank top and my sewing workshop white jacket. So that's that look. That will be for my sister's class. I'll just put these at the end so that I know they're, they're going. PJs, I already have my set picked out. Uh, this is a three piece set, um, an Ajin Kami and uh, a Vogue pattern that I made. So these will be my PJs. I like these because they're dressy enough to like go out, um, see my sister and my uh, sis and Missy and not feel totally underdressed. Now my casual look, this is going from my home to my sister's house. So I can be super casual. What I was thinking I would wear are these pink travel pants because they're very light. I'd be very, very comfortable. So I'd probably wear this. So I'm gonna put that aside as my travel outfit. Next up, travel from her house to New York City. I know I wanna wear, I wanna look good in New York City and I wanna be wearing black. So I'm probably gonna wear my black pants with my brown or blue tank top. I'm not sure which one I'll wanna wear. So I'll put these both aside and I will be wearing my white wrap jacket. I like to have options and a tank top takes up no space. And if you wanna see my travel flight outfits uh, video, I'm gonna link that below in the description as well. Okay, evening in New York City. Um, to save this dress for any of the evenings. This is the dress I wore to Greece. And I figure if I'm just wearing it out at night, like if we're going to dinner or something, we're going to be in different cities almost every night. So I can easily rewear this and I can wear it with a wrap jacket if I need to. So that is an easy evening look. So I'll just put it for one of them. Barbie movie. I know I'm gonna wear this, and I think I'm probably gonna wear it with the pink linen pants. I feel like this is still stylish, but it screams Barbie to me, the pink. <laughs> so I wanna be all pink for that. So then I would put that 
my last trip, that's where I'm gonna wear these um, Hudson pants because I don't care if I'm super stylish when I'm going from LAX back to my house. No one is gonna see me, it's just gonna be me. Won't be a big deal at all because these are not my fanciest travel pants, but they're super comfy. So those will go with that. And I would probably want a comfortable tee. So I think I'll pair it with this shirt. It's still cute, but it gives me a lot of options. All right, I also have a yoga outfit. I did, if I, as long as I can fit it in my bag, I like to have a dedicated yoga outfit. I do yoga every day. So um, this is one that I drafted. This is in a Rose Dharma knit um, from the Fabric Fairy. So this is just a little set I made up. I made this for my last vacation when we went up to um, Cocoa Beach. It's really cute, really comfortable. And I like that I'll have an extra pair of leggings if I need them. I have an all day travel day from New York City to Palm Springs. So I am thinking I will wear one of the other travel pants and I will pick a new top. Oh, I still have this skirt that I wanted to bring. So I'm going to pair these two together for another travel look, just in case I want something different to wear. I could always rewear one of the other looks. I know. All right, I already know what I wanted to wear in the afternoon from Palm Springs. I am thinking of either wearing these two together, which I think will look really cute, or this tee. So I'm gonna put aside both, and I will just mark that for this day. The other two evening looks, I am going to bring this for one evening look, and I will wear this silk top with my black travel pants. And then I have one more evening. I'm going to pair these two together possibly with the white pants, but I could mix these with anything. But I like having a bunch of different cardigans that I can mix and match and they don't take up much room. And then the drive to LA, I've got one more tank top and I could pair these, this with any of the pants. So now I have everything sectioned off. Okay, so that's everything. If I need to, I could cut out a few of these if they're not fitting in my bag. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. I have a pretty decent sized suitcase. This is an American Tourister. This thing is pretty big. Now, the reason we are doing checked baggage because my this is a speaking tour for my sister. And so she brings an outfit for every city that she tours in and she themes them to the city she's traveling to. So of course she's gonna have a bunch, of, she might have more than one suitcase for all I know, I'm not sure. But, um, so it's no problem checking bags. We're all going to be checking bags. Right, so at this point, I know I have plenty of clothing to bring. I could cut this and I could cut out half of these tees and I would still have enough clothes to wear. Um, but this way I know I have lots of options. I can switch things up. I'm probably, there's only two outfits where I know which days I really wanna wear, the one in Palm Springs and the one in LA. But other than that, I can switch these looks up just depending on my mood, how I'm feeling that day and what the weather is like. So oh, accessories. Now I am bringing, in my last, uh, in my travel outfit video, I showed my bags and my personal bags. So I'm bringing this bag. I like that it coordinates with everything I've picked. So I went over all the accessories that I put in my personal bag in that video, if you wanna go take a look. So when I'm getting ready for my trip, what I like to do is I load up a cart with all of my accessories. Now you can tell I'm a little bit of an over planner. I like to do this probably, I start a few weeks in advance. So I've got my sunscreen, I've got my shampoo, my accessories, all travel size stuff. I love my wrinkle release. I get this one from Grove. I've got my 
Cary Grand um, beauty oils. I've got a lipstick. I've got a lint roller. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So, um, and I also, because I wear glasses for distance, I always pack an extra set of sunglasses and regular glasses in my suitcase. I've got a bunch of headbands that I've already coordinated the colors with. I've got a travel razor. And I like to pick out a few accessories. I don't like to go crazy with accessories when I'm traveling. And um, I most likely, none of these are super expensive, so I do pack them in my luggage. But if I was packing um, really fine jewelry, I would put it in my personal bag. So I've got a few earrings, a few necklaces, some little earrings, just a few accessories, but they go with everything. I've got a really tiny travel umbrella. I like this one. Um, this one is great because it is so, so small. It's not gonna keep me totally dry, but it works in a pinch. And then I will be bringing my tiny little tripod so I can film while I'm there. This is just a little, it expands out. It's got a light on it, um, swivels around. So just a little easy one. I don't wanna bring too much gear that would take up a ton of room. All right, I had said, I'm bringing a bunch of books one will go in my personal bag and then the other ones will get packed. These probably weigh a lot more than my clothes do. <laughs> um, travel tags. I'm putting one fun one on the outside because I'll see it. And then I always put a second one inside my bag with my Apple AirTag so that I know I can find my bag. And if it's lost, my name and address are inside. I've got my... Um, Toiletry bags, these ones are for tripped. I really like them. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way. I just really like their, their gear. That's why I also have the matching, um, the matching packing cube sets. And this one has a laundry bag, which is very useful. And then my last thing are my purses. Now this is my fun purse. I got this in Greece. And I just, I adore this bag. I don't wear it very often. It was very expensive, but I love it. It's the tiniest little thing. But I thought because I had added a few pops of blue color, this will look great. And then my mother gifted me um, one of her Poochie scarves a while ago. So I may bring this just if I want to change the look of something I'm wearing. <clears throat> and then my daughter was a big help. She helped me pick out this little bag. Um, I just wanted something simple and classic, but not expensive, that goes with all my looks. This one is from Target, and it has a little tiny matching wallet because my regular wallet is freaking huge. So I wanted something small for this trip. And most of the time I'm not really carrying around that much other than my phone, so I don't really need that much. And that is everything I'm bringing on my trip. I'm going to put in a little quick uh, video of me actually packing everything, but I'm gonna try and do that a little faster and hopefully film it better than I did my last one. All right guys, now onto the fun part. I'm going to show you how I pack everything. I have everything over here on my rack um, set up. Normally if I was doing this, I'd be coming from my closet and uh, doing this process, but just for the sake of filming, I've put everything on my rack just so that you can see as I go about doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take out my travel outfit and put that to the side because I will be wearing that um, the first day of my trip. This trip, I'm going to my sister's first. So that outfit is going to be to the side as well. And then after I leave from her house, I'll just stick that right in the top of my bag. I'm gonna grab one extra tank top that's light. I know it won't really smash or anything. And that is going to go in my carry-on. This will go in my carry-on with a change of underwear and um, just in a little compression cube. 
I'm gonna say really quickly, I decided I'm going to also put this brown skirt in my carry-on bag because that will be a super easy and light outfit. Don't really worry about losing my bag. I wear a really typical ready-to-wear size. So pretty much anywhere I go, I can find clothes, anything pretty easily. I'm just concerned about losing my, my luggage uh, completely. So I um, will be traveling with an air tag in my bag. Mainly, I don't care if I really lose my luggage along the way, as long as I get it back in the end. So um, yeah, if I lose my bag and need to buy something, it's really not a big deal. But if that's if that's something you're worried about, finding clothes when you're going to your next location, I would suggest packing a full outfit, at least one outfit in a packing cube in your travel carry-on. So when we travel internationally, I often bring an extra set of clothes. Usually if I've got a family bag packed, I will have a full set of clothes for everyone in my family in my travel bag, which is why I bring that larger bag. Um, especially if I'm going to a location where I know shopping is harder. So now what I like to do is I will take all my pieces and I like to lay them out on my bed, fold them the way I'd probably fold them, and then I'll section them off for my packing cubes. So I'm gonna speed up this part. underwear and I have more of that but I'm just going to show um, the minimal amount for the video. All right so I'm hoping you can see I have everything laid out that I'm planning on bringing. Now the first thing before I start packing all of this into my packing cubes is I like to do my toiletries before I pack all of this because they tend to go toward the bottom of the bag. All right, so these are all the toiletries I'm bringing. You can see this is all my makeup, beauty, general, sunscreen. I am not a huge makeup person. I wear very light makeup, but we are gonna be doing some pictures, so I'm bringing a little more than I might normally. So I've got all my beauty laid out, my um, cleaning, laundering, care stuff, brushes, um, my skincare treatment, um, toothpaste, oh, actually that goes there, um, some perfume, which I'll put over here, deodorant, uh, razors, uh, hair stuff, and I did buy just um, little sample size things for this trip mainly um, because every time I go and I bring reusable bottles, I forget what I packed in each one and then I can never figure out what anything is. So I was like, I'm going to make it very easy on myself this trip. So I am packing, packing all checked baggage. So um, everything is going to be in my luggage. Um, if I need to replace this, I can get this stuff at any CVS basically. Um, I'm not really that concerned with it. So in my um, regular 311 bag, I am going to do sunscreen and then um, my shampoos and hair, hair supplies and then anything else that I think could possibly leak because I do feel like this bag is the most secure and worst comes to worst, if there's a leak, this will be perfectly fine. So... That's probably what I'll do for this one. 
and then, okay. And then um, I like to put my um, beauty in this section. Um, I like how my powders fit perfectly in these little zippered compartments. So that's usually what I use these for. Especially I like that I can see them. And then um, this is the section that zippers out to the front. So um, I usually put my basic stuff in there that I'm using every day. So my razor, my toothbrush, all that kind of stuff goes in there. So it's not banging around. So then I always have to make sure I have both sides zippered. All right, in this little one, I like to put my cleansing oils just in case the glass breaks so that I know they're secure. That and my perfume. And then just to even it out, I'll probably put the nails in there. And then in this one, I'm going to put my brushes in this open section with my lint roller and then my little tubes in here. And then I will probably put my poof separately along with my hairbrush and my comb, uh, just so I can squeeze them in somewhere. And usually what I'll do is I will bring a um, extra packing cube or a, um, a Ziploc or something just to put that in when I'm traveling so that I don't make a mess. But I like these to not be overstuffed, just so that I can hang them up when I'm in my location and not worry about them. All right, now I like to start putting everything in cubes. Now what I'm going to do is because um, I always put all my swimwear in one cube and I put all my underwear in one cube with all my socks and then with swim I'm going to put my yoga gear and I always bring these um, yogi paws because then I don't have to bother with like a travel mat and these are very compact so those go with me too so that I can do yoga in any space and then I'll probably put my slippers in with my um, lingerie. And I've had these tripped cubes for a while. I really like them. I like that they're also um, compression, although I don't usually need it that much. So those just go in there with my yogi paws. And I'll actually put my headbands and hair clips in here because that's usually where I would reach for them if I was traveling, when I'm traveling. And now I can just compress these. And you can see how much smaller that gets. Now I'm going to do the underwear. It's one of the smaller ones because I don't tend to pack a ton of underwear. See, it's going to go from that. I did overstuff that little one a little bit, but I like having a nice solid cube when I'm packing. All right, now I'm gonna put all those to the side and start with the clothes. To put all my other 
little things that I don't want to get messed up. And here, and then let's see. And I'll put my spare glasses in there as well. And then I will put my belt in there. And my scarf. And I like this because then I know what's in here. And so when I just need to go grab this stuff, I can grab it super easily. All right, now we're on to clothes. I am going to separate out the Palm Beach clothes from everything else because that those are very specific clothes that I'm packing for that part of the trip. Everything else is really, I know I sectioned them off into outfits I can wear, but everything else that I'm packing really could be worn any day. It's not really I'll mix and match. I'm not going to be very strict with each outfit each day. So now in my larger packing cube, let me move this over. I will pack all my t-shirts. And then I usually won't put my pants into a packing cube because I like to leave them flat. I feel like they get less wrinkled, especially with the linen and cotton. So those will be flat in my bag. And I just leave the post-it notes on just to remind me what I had planned, but I'm not, um, I can wear whatever I want. But this way, if they're in here, I will just remember what, what I had originally planned. And then also, now that I'm looking at this, I am going to stick my pajamas in with my extras because those are something I will wear every day. The good thing is I am bringing yoga clothes and I am bringing um, a bunch of, a few extra tank tops so that if I needed to wear something else at night, um, I can easily. So I'm going to compress this last cube. I find these are pretty easy to zip, uh, just like keeping your finger in there so you don't catch um, on the inside fabric. But I have noticed my clothes, when I take them out of these, they are not super wrinkled. So I really like this set. All right, and then I need one last cube for my clothes for Palm Springs. And then I'm also gonna put my purse in there, which I planned wearing there. And um, this is crocheted with this metallic yarn that I got in Athens. And um, this bag was a little pricier, so I do not want it to get snagged on anything. So it can go in there. And so you can see how small everything has really already gotten down to. So I have my pants, my shoes, I will put in a compartment. So now it's just a matter of putting everything into my suitcase. Now I do like to leave this outer section empty if I can. And then if I need to last minute, I can stick something in here. I'll also leave, I love these sections in my suitcase. This is a wet section, so when I'm traveling, if I have a wet swimsuit, it can go in there. But I don't want to overpack this bag in case I bring anything back. I am packing an air tag. And then I also put an ID in my suitcase so that if it gets disturbed, someone can find it. So I like to put that in this clear zippered section because for now, I'm not going to use this section. Uh, that's like a wet bag section, but I feel like it's not gonna open up or get messed up. 
And this section I often use for dirty clothes on the way home. So, um, first thing I always lay in are my shoes and I put them separately. And I like to put them in between those little tracks. And then because I have all these packing cubes, my clothes are not really touching my shoes. I will often um, lay down my laundry bag there. And then um, I like to put my toiletries in next. And um, I watch Travels with Lori. Um, if I have that name wrong, I will put the link in. And I like her method of, she stands hers up in her bag and I find that's really helpful for space saving. because now I'm making little layers. So my biggest cube goes here. And then I'll slide that one in there. And now I can just sit my pants on top. I have room in this bag. Um, this is, this section opens up, but I like to make sure that I'm not packing it that tight. So I think you can see, I mean, this is not a full bag. I could fit quite a bit more. Of course, the final test that always comes is weighing. So I'll just put that in. Actually, I'm gonna stick it underneath so it doesn't get broken. And I like that these are all empty. If I need to take something out of another bag, it can fit in here. And if I bring souvenirs back, they will fit. All right, so now the moment of truth. <laughs> I've got to weigh this thing and I have not done this yet, so I have no idea how much this is gonna weigh. All right, it's coming in at like 34, so I am fine. So I'll just put that in. Actually, I'm gonna stick it underneath so it doesn't get broken. And I like that these are all empty. If I need to take something out of another bag, it can fit in here. And if I bring souvenirs back, they will fit. Because I know I'm bringing an outfit that I will be wearing from my sister's house to the airport, I wanna make sure, not that this is really gonna be affect the weight, but if you did have an extra outfit you had to put in last minute, you do want to make sure everything is in here. So after our travels, I would probably stick that right back in there. So that I ha wouldn't have to worry about it. And then check the weight again. I can't believe, imagine that'll be more than a pound, so. Yep, it's at now at 35 or 34. Ouch, actually. Yeah, it's still under 35. So I am fine. So I'll take out those two outfits so they're not smashed earlier. And I'll hang those up again in a minute. All right, so my last thing is I will stick my tag on it. I like this uh, bando one I've got. It's bright, I always can spot it. And truthfully, my bag is a bright blue if I'm not going to miss sighting it. I have my um, travel locks, which I would lock my bag. Um, I have two, so I would lock both compartments. And then last, just let me show you how everything else goes. Ooh, I did forget to put my books in. I know I'm going to, I'm gonna put the two heavier books in just to make sure it does not affect the weight. You know what, I'm gonna put all three in just so in case, suppose I put all the books in. All right, now we're at 36. I've got my accessories for my flight. 
Uh, my RIFD wallets, a spare umbrella. This tiny one is great. My um, sunglasses, my compression socks, a little lip gloss. So um, this is for my sunglasses and then I will wear my glasses. I will put my spare purse in there as well as my tech case. And I usually do travel with a pen, but I think I already have one in here. Yes, my sunglass case also has a pen holder. So I don't need this one. And then my laptop. So first, the laptop goes in the laptop sleeve. And then um, my sunglasses will probably go in here for now. And I'll have this in case I need to have them on me. Okay, so these I'll be wearing. I want my compression socks. If I'm not wearing them, um, I'm going to put them in here so I can get them. Actually, I'm gonna put them in the outer pocket. With my wipes, my socks, just because that is something I will want to grab out. I'm going to put these guys in here, so they're not gonna get messed up. I'm not carrying that much in for clothing in this case, so in this situation, I'm not gonna use a compression cube, I'm just going to use a regular cube. But um, of course, if you were traveling with more, I would probably take a compression cube. And then I would also stick a pair of underwear in there. So I had a spare pair. So that goes in there. So that's gonna go on the very bottom. Then my purse for when I arrive, just in case I want it. I'm not also, I'm not planning on using my laptop in the airport. It's just there so I can do work while I'm there because I also do SEO and marketing and I need to work while I'm there. My book, my umbrella can also, I have an inner pocket where water bottles can go, but I'm gonna put my umbrella in there. My eye mask and my lip gloss in here so that they're easy to get to. My spare wallet in here. My little wallet, um, I'll probably put these in my pants pocket. So my tech case, then my sunglasses case. Actually, I am gonna put these in here because I don't want them to get damaged. All right. So yes, this is gonna be a very full bag, but my carry-on always, my personal bag always is. But I do like this one because it does fit so easily. All right, there you have it. Now this is what I usually do with my jacket for a while because it's summer and um, I want it out of the way. I could also um, hook it inside if I need to, but this way I can still feel it's there, but I'm not gonna need that jacket till I'm on the plane. So I have that in my suitcase, and once my suitcase check is checked, I'm traveling pretty light. And you can see I've got my little wallet that fits right in there. Um, I don't really care if it's bulky because I'm at the airport, nobody really cares. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I'm going to link the entire playlist of um, all these videos that relate to this trip that I'm taking, just if you wanna go back and see the older versions. And if you'd like my um, travel wardrobe, uh, my handmade travel wardrobe planner, go to my blog, sopomona.com, and you'll be able to get that there. Links will all be below in the description. All right, so that's it for today. Um, by the time this comes out, I'll be returning from my trip, but and I'll be back with um, and I'll be back with a video where I show everything I wore every day of our trip. 
All right, so that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, happy sewing.